Hi, hello everyone, I'm Only One Gamer, and welcome to part 41 of the Terraria Let's Play. Only One Slime is here, of course, like always, one of our best pets, and there's a unicorn. Don't even get me started on these blasted unicorns knocking at my door, and then when I come to the door, they leave. It happens every time I tell you guys. Like, I'll be messing around with a chest, you know, putting items or shards I collected in my chest, and then this unicorn will come knocking on my door, and I'll come over here and open my door, and be like, you, you wanna go? And then he'll just run away like that. He's a troll. Like, these unicorns be trolling me. And I'm gonna go ahead and hotkey my items. So I don't have to do that later on at a worse time. Um, let's see, what a, what a, oh wow, I'm a bit low on torches. Might need to make me some torches here. Um, why have I not put the souls of night in my chest? Well, we're still gonna have to need souls of night for what we're crafting in this part. But if that unicorn comes back, I'm gonna kill it. Where, ah, you came back at the wrong time. Whoa, 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 he's all up in my house. Get out of here, bro. Alright, we got a unicorn and we, a horn, a unicorn horn, and we managed to kill a pixie in the midst of that. It kind of just walked into its own death. So, Let's go put this in a uh, chest here. I got 10 unicorn horns. I'm uh, not sure what you use these for. Um, pixie dust is not really a concern. We'll just throw that away. I know you guys are probably like, hey, you need that to craft this and that. And I'm like, oh, well, that's just something. Okay, yeah, I got a lot of souls of light. I uh, thought I would have a lot of souls at night. But what I've been doing is, um, well, I had a bit of a problem. Now, I've been talking to my friend. He says he's had this problem a lot, too. With the corruption spreading to your house, and then your NPCs not wanting to show up because if those if your house is corrupt, then your like certain NPCs won't move in. Move in. So see the wizard here, like you know when I fought the destroyer, which I was such a boss at killing, and he killed all my. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna talk about that. But it happened, and yeah, it was it was really bad, and all my NPCs had to move in again. Well, different NPCs because they all have different names and stuff, but. Um, the wizard wouldn't move in. I was like, well, why won't the wizard move in? And, well, the sad thing was I had corruption, like, underneath my house. And, well, if you guys recall in, like, the last part, corruption was all the way at my door. So, I, I took it upon myself to get a bunch of, um, purif purifying powder, whatever it is. And I pretty much purified, uh, all of the land that I could. And I planted hollow seeds everywhere. And, see, all this down here was corruption. And it still is spreading like, in, at an insane rate. If you look, this is corruption. Like, I cannot get rid of this stuff. It's so, It just sucks. And all this sand right here is corrupt sand. It's really a problem. Like, when I first started playing and the corruption was spreading, I was like, oh, what's this? You know, it ain't a big deal. You know, corruption, I don't really care. I got demon wings. I'm part corrupt, I guess you could say. So, I was fine with it, and, uh, well, uh, I later got struck down by some sadness when I realized the NPCs could not uh, move in if your house was somehow in corruption. So, there you have it. Um, yeah, that was not cool, but all is resolved. I got the wizard to move back in. I don't even know if I have all the NPCs now. Um, should probably look at that. No, I, I think I'm missing one. Who am I missing? I'll leave that up to you guys to leave in a comment. Which NPC am I currently missing? Um, it seems like a very obvious one, but I am not seeing it. Hmm. Oh, and I also heard of a glitch. Everyone's been commenting about this glitch ever since like 10 parts ago, I do believe. It's like, uh, purchase a music box, um, which I think I might have purchased a music box just for that occasion. And, um... You can get a free Hamdrax. Also, I get the heart because, you know, as you see by the title, we're about to craft the magical harp and it's going to be really awesome. But, um, I got a music box and I'm going to go to the ocean and get an ocean tune recorded on the music box and try to get a free Hamdrax. Now, I know a lot of you guys are like, cheater, da 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 Well, <laughs> you know me and exploits. If they're in a game like Terraria, well, I'm going to use them. It's just how I do. And let's not talk about the last part when I killed the twins and stood on meter, right? But that's, that's beside the point. Um, <laughs> me and exploits, uh, in this game. I, I don't know why I'm so drawn to them. I'm like, I must not do it. Oh, I did it. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yes. So, um, I might do that and get a free Hamdrax because a Hamdrax is basically, um, a drill, a chainsaw, and, uh, what it, oh, and a hammer all in one. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty ponesome, I do believe, and I've never had one before, so we might do that. Then again, I might try to get it legitly. I don't know. But if it's free, why not take it? Right? No? Wrong? Okay. Oh, okay. Well, anyhow, <laughs> let's go ahead and get this harp out. I have a warding star cloak that I picked up from my mimic, and a, actually a compass I picked up from my mimic as well. I uh, actually got some gold I need to put in my chest, huh? Yeah, well, I did not come prepared for this part, as you guys can tell. I usually have all my inventory, everything set out and nicely organized, but uh, not so much today. So, 
I actually, I have quite a bit of crystal shards. I do need to make some more uh, ammo for this amazing thing. Yes, I love that this thing is going to be what we kill most of the bosses with. Except, uh, the harp might prove to be pretty awesome. So, enough rambling on about all this stuff. I just have a lot to fill you guys in on. I'm like, well, I'm going to tell them about this, that, this, and this. Okay. Um, so, let's go ahead and uh, wait a second. Oh, yeah. Okay. I got confused there for a second, okay, and I already got 15 gold bars. See, the magical harp takes like 25 crystal shards, uh, 20 souls of sight, it's just absurd. Um, oh, I can't believe I gotta use all my souls of sight, it, it was like, oh, the twins, I hate them, I really do. Okay, now what else do I need? I do believe I need my crystal shards. Oh, whoa, I don't want the light shard, what the, what, are, what is that even good for? If you guys know, what what are the light shards good for? Um, please leave it in the comment below because I think there's another type of shard you can get and if you combine them you can make some type of weapon or something like I think it might be used to make the flamethrower I don't know so that's something you guys can inform me on since you guys know I am a noob at this game I've never played it before what does a light shard do um, that's actually one of the items I have no clue on what it does so that you guys have it you can help a 1G out today um, okay so I think that's all we need. Um, we're gonna make a magical harp, and uh, it's gonna be awesome. Where do you make the craft this thing at? Hmm. Yeah, I see, I see, I see. Where are you? I I would like to uh, craft a. Oh th wow, that thing looks so cool. It's like gold. And okay, yes, yes. Thank you, thank you. Thirty-one magic damage. And it, see, the beautiful thing about the magical harp is it uses so less of mana, like. It's, it's, it's amazing. Uh, wait a second. Why was my wizard just slain? Why was my wizard just slain? It took me forever to get that guy to move in. For a second, I thought I killed him because right when I shot my magical harp, like, he died. Did he go outside or something? Wow. I, I don't know. That sucks. Uh, I needed him. Good thing I bought the music box already because he has a lot of valuable items you need. Well, if you guys know why I killed him, which I'll probably realize, um, I, I don't know if I killed him or not. I, I kind of, I don't think so. I, I mean, how? I was down here and he was up there. Huh. Yeah. I don't know how that's even possible. He must have walked outside to his own death or something, which doesn't make no sense at all. But, um, I'll probably figure it out when I go to editing. Um, there's a bunny in here. Die. Thank you. Um, I, no, there's no way. You can't kill your NPC. So, yeah, that, that would never work. I don't know what that's all about. Okay, so this thing's okay. It's going to be good for fighting bosses. It's actually way better. Um, it's, it's, a, it's an amazing weapon. Okay, so the thing about the console version is the firing I've heard is limited due to... Uh, oh, there we go. We got another wizard. It's not like it was a big deal anyways here. I was, like, flipping out. Because like, I didn't think I was he, could, he was going to spawn. No, then again, I don't, I don't even know. Pixie, get out of my house, yo. Yeah, this thing doesn't use much mana at all. And I think if I use a certain mana potion, this thing just becomes oh so much more ponesome. And it just looks cool. Look at this. I'm like all pimped out with my golden heart. I mean, that's what's up. Let's go down here, use it some more just because, well, I want to. But yeah, I've heard the firing is limited due to the short range cursor you have on the console. So that's kind of a bummer there. I know. And, uh, but yeah, it's supposed to be one of the best weapons in the game for fighting bosses. So. You know, that's, that's gonna be cool. Come on. Yes. Die. Awesome. Souls of Night. Thank you. Yeah, this looks awesome. I like the magical harp. I'm so glad. I never would've thought I would've got this far in Terraria, as I've stated many times before. It's just an awesome thing to experience. Yeah, so you, you're gonna come down here, Elemental. Okay, there's a world feeder here. Da, da, da. This, is, this is so awesome. Okay, get on. Thank you. Oh, okay. Sweet souls of night. All right, let's go back to the to our house. Ah, after testing out a new weapon, I feel happy. I feel content, and uh, that's all that matters. Now, um, there is a few things we have to do to prepare for the next bosses. Like, uh, well, I gotta become more awesome to do that. Uh, I I don't. I've heard also this one thing. I ha it's it's a nimble magical harp. I just now realized that. Since when did it become a nimble magical harp? I am not a happy person. I am very mad right now. Why every time I craft something elegant and awesome, it's always sucky? Like, can I not win for one time, game? Like, when I made my Mega Shark, it, it was, like, lame, and I had to enchant it, like, five to four times. Uh, 
Yeah, it costed me a lot of money, which might be a reason why I'm broke. Um, so I bet, I bet reforging this harp is gonna cost like a million gold. Where you at? Oh, blasted. 22 gold, which, you know, isn't bad compared to the Mega Shark, uh, but still, really disappointing. Okay, well, I'm gonna be killing lots of mimics in my days before the next part, uh, probably, because I would like to have that thing upgraded to something decent. And, uh, yeah, so we got a lot of preparation for which which will be the next boss we fight. Kind of... Is this Skeletron Prime? No way. I don't know if I'm ready for Skeletron Prime. Because the thing with him, you can't die and keep on respawning, I don't think. You have to kill him in one life and one life only. So, kind of scared me a bit there. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Um, I don't know. Skeletron Prime is going to be... Uh, kind of... Hard. All the bosses are really hard solo. See, uh, the wizard was slain again. What? Okay. Don't know why this is happening, guys. Um, I think if he walks in corruption, does he die or something? Is that a possibility? I don't know because he shouldn't be dying like this. I don't know. If you guys got an explanation, a scientific reason on why. Uh, the wizard dies all the time then let me know but he keeps on spawning back so whatevs if I need it I don't really need to buy anything from him a world feature. Are you serious? Come on. I'm, I'm ready to kill you. I got my magical harp out Yes, look at this and see how easy that was how we could just oh, that's just awesome now Magical harp is supposed to be one of the best weapons for killing the destroyers So we might try to kill the destroyer in like the next part just again and see if I can redeem myself Whatnot, um, and uh, it kind of just the farm souls as well. Um, so it should be pretty cool. We'll go back to our arena and fight the destroyer again in the next part, and then we'll probably fight the twins again or something. Just actually, you know what? It's dark, it's nighttime, it's nighttime. Before we end this part, let's do something cool. We haven't fought an Aya Cthulhu in forever, am I right? Let's do it. Why not? YOLO. Don't get in my house, you blasted idiot. You got in my house. Get out. Thank you. Go. I'm, I, I gotta summon this thing before daylight comes. Okay. Whoop. Yes, let's do this. Let's test out our new magical harp on the Aya Cthulhu. How are you today, Aya Cthulhu? Good, bad, no. Okay. Look at this. Awesome. Pwnage. Of course, this is like the easiest. But you guys remember back at the start of the Let's Play, I had such a problem with killing this thing. But do keep in mind, I didn't have good armor. I didn't have good nothing. Um, now I've improved so much, and see, this was all a blind let's play, and look how much I've improved. I find that it's just shocking, uh, to myself. It's pretty amazing how beast I've got at this game and whatnot. It just shocks me when I think about it. Um, not that I'm bragging or anything, I'm still such a noob when it comes to fighting bosses and stuff. Some people could fight so many. I wish you could summon more than one Aya Cthulhu at once. Like, for some reason, one time when I summoned the Aya Cthulhu, it glitched up and summoned two of them. And that was when I was a noob and couldn't kill him, and I was like, oh god. Uh, so I tried summoning two of them before, but it just didn't work out. So look, we got Demonite Ore and Corrupt Seeds, which I don't need. I don't want to plant the Corrupt anywhere. So there you have it. We killed the Aya Cthulhu in this part. Um, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next part. Have a magnificent day. Enjoy your life, and uh, go craft a magical heart for yourself, yes? Why is this? Why? Werewolf. No, no, get away from me, werewolf. Okay, I will see you guys later. This is only one game on only one slide. Signing out. Have a nice day.